Hello and thank you for joining us for today's tutorial. Today we're going to talk about creating strong passwords for your, well for anything that you're going to use actually, not just website admins but for financial records and everything else. You should have a system for choosing a secure password. And uh, the one that I like to use has become a bit of a party trick between me and my uh, geek friends. What I do is I start by going to this website here and you can do this yourself too and play with your own passwords because when I put this in here it's going to just come in as dots. You're not going to be able to see the words that I'm typing in, although with some of them I will tell you what it is. I go to howsecureismypassword.net and that brings us up to this screen here and then you can test out your passwords to find out how just how good they are. So we're going to have a little bit of fun here today and um, what I'm going to do is first of all show you just the most commonly used password in the world which is password and you'll see this would be cracked almost instantly because it is a common password and it's in the top 10 most used passwords in the world. It's uh, very commonly used and would be cracked almost instantly. Also if we look here it's saying it's possibly a word and I'm just going to slide slide this up so that we, we can look at these comments here too. So as we go through this, so that's a password, but what if I did this? I, I mean, I can take this, which is probably the most naffy password you could come up with, and said, let's just add a two-digit month and a four-digit year. And instantly, it says it would take a desktop PC. And this is running some kind of um, you know code cracking software, it would take a PC about 48,000 years to crack the password. So if I just back that back off again and put in password, the word password, um, it would take 22 minutes. So if I go back and put in the word password, which is the most, or one of the most top 10 most used passwords, it would be cracked instantly. A two digit month and a four digit year and it instantly becomes a 48,000 year process for a computer running a PC, running a uh, program to crack a password. It would take it, still take it 48,000 years. So that's um, pretty good. But the way that I like to go about choosing my passwords is because you need a hint. First of all, you, you shouldn't, obviously you shouldn't tell people and they tell you not to write it down. Well, then how are you going to remember it? So the way that I do is I like to pick song titles, but I especially like to pick song titles from movies. So I'm going to go to a movie that I like that has a, actually a very old song that I'm quite partial to. I used to sing it to my daughter when she was a baby. And uh, it's from the Soggy Bottom Boys and it is the song You Are My Sunshine, which is quite an old one. So if we come back over here and say, I just take the first letter of each word of the title of the song. So you are my sunshine. And obviously that's not a very good password in, on its own. But if I then add the month and the year, we're looking at mere 10 days. So that's not too great. But if I shoot back to the beginning here and say, all right, what if we invite a special character to the party, so like the at sign, and put an at on it, you know, 48 years. If I invite Mr. At Sign's friend and twin him at the other end, it's 2,000 years. So instantly, I've just taken that to a 2,000 year password and it would probably be fairly difficult for somebody to guess. But if I take that out, what if I choose a longer song title? And I go here and look at um, Hottie Blake Shelton. He has this song, Who Are You When I'm Not Looking? So if we go back here and say, who are you when I'm not looking? We type that in. <laughs> Two seconds, not too hot now, is he? Um, if we then add a month and a year, we can bring that up to a thousand years. And if we add our special character, Mr. At Sign, six million years. What if I twin it and put another at sign at the other end? 325 million years. That's looking more like it. That's a pretty good password. It is kind of long though, but uh, here let's let's just try one other thing. If I take that password and put the at sign, the special character, and do uppercase and lowercase, so I alternate between uppercase and lowercase. So who are you when I'm not looking? It's a day. And then I add in my month my two digits for the month and four digits for the year. I've got a two billion year password. If I add my other special character, my twin, 157 billion years. That's a pretty 
good password and it's really quite easy for me to remember but when if you go wow that song title is just too long i don't want it so we go back to the soggy bottom boys again and we say you are my sunshine it's four characters um how can we make that a, a stronger password so we start off that uh, because that's nice and easy to remember so i've got the special character the at sign and then i do the uppercase lowercase thing so uppercase y lowercase a uppercase M, lowercase s. Not too strong there, but if I add in a two-digit month and a four-digit year, and then I put the at sign again, we're up to 344,000 years, not too bad. But if we invite another friend, another special character to use a dollar sign at the beginning, and then let's mirror that dollar sign at the end, um, I'm now up to two billion years to crack that password. That is a really good password. And it would be very easy to remember because it's a relatively short song title and all you have to really think about is those two special characters. So you would sit there and do your dollar sign, your at, your um, song title, two-digit month, four-digit year, and the reverse of those special characters at the end and two billion years. And that's really easy and I've just picked that from a song title and if I have to write a if I have to write a hint for myself I can just call it soggy and most people would not be able to guess that. So that's how you pick uh, really strong passwords and one more time if you, if you want to make this your next party trick you just go to howsecureismypassword.net and you can go in there and play to your heart's content. I hope this has helped you. We'll see you on the next tutorial. Thanks for joining us.